welcome to this video. So we are actually discussing about grip and in the previous lecture we have seen how to measure the grip and in this video we are going to start from where we have stopped in the previous video. So we are going to look into the prediction of grip in concrete. See there are certain empirical relationships which are given to estimate or to predict the grip in concrete. I told you earlier that the script takes an infinite amount of time to fully take place in a concrete. I don't know when this script is going to stop, when the ultimate script is going to be developed in the concrete. It takes years, it takes 30 years, 50 years. Maybe structure can fail before it has reached its ultimate script, ultimate grip, right? We have certain relationships given and we are going to look into one of that relationship that is given the American standard ACI 209R92 and this empirical relationship helps us to predict the creep by using two parameters creep coefficient phi and modulus of elasticity EC and this T and T naught are nothing bad T0 is equals to age of concrete at the time of loading. What is the age of concrete when you are applying the loads? And T is the age of concrete at the time of determining the creep. Uh, at, the instant, uh, at the point of time when you are measuring the creep in the concrete, what is the age of the concrete? And let me go through the creep coefficient first. So what is creep coefficient? It is nothing but a ratio of the specific creep at time t because t is the time at which i mean age of the concrete at which you are actually determining the creep so at that time the specific creep okay the specific creep at that age t due to a unit stress i mean one newton per mm square applied at the age t naught so this load this unit stress when the age of concrete is T0, that is going to remain till the age of the concrete is T. Isn't it right? T0 and the grape pleasure is Tamu and T work kukoda that lane untunde. So for a duration of T minus T0, the concrete is subjected to a constant amount of load. Okay, or constant amount of stress. In this case, unit stress. So specific creep at the age t due to unit stress applied at the age of t naught to the initial elastic strain elastic strain where do you see that when the age of the concrete is t naught right under unit stress this can be simply put out in this equation creep coefficient phi is equals to uh, specific creep c due to unit stress divided by initial elastic strain epsilon naught under a unit stress so you can write this as c so creep coefficient is denoted with phi and since epsilon naught uh, uh, elastic strain is the strain under unit stress you can write it this way elastic strain divided by unit stress okay but you can say that from the equation E is equals to stress by strain. What happens to strain by stress? Simply 1 by E. So here the strain is elastic strain and the stress is unit stress. So what happens still? It is elastic. Uh, Engs modulus. So now instead of this, which is equals to epsilon naught because the denominator is 1, epsilon naught can be written as 1 by EC. Therefore, I am going to replace that in this equation, and what I get is phi creep coefficient is equals to specific creep divided by epsilon, which is equals to C divided by 1 by EC and 
sending this on to this side will give you c is equals to phi into 1 by ec or phi is equals to c into ec and it is important to note that if you know one or uh, two of these terms you can easily find out the third term right the third unknown the third unknown i want the main objective is to find out what is the specific creep so if you know what is specific creep from the definition it is the creep per unit stress so you can easily find out what is the creep ultimate creep okay so what you need to know is you need to know what is the creep coefficient and what is the Young's modulus of concrete c c represents concrete so Young's modulus of concrete so similar to steel concrete also has Young's modulus okay and of course you know what is specific creep we have seen that so now let me go to this so if we know this phi and ec we can just find out uh, the specific creep and from that you can find out what is the uh, actual creep in that concrete at a particular uh, time at a particular age of concrete t okay t and a time they get creep and they know this on the t so american standard program we have an expression for creep coefficient phi that is phi is equals to phi t t not is equals to t minus t not power 0.6 10 plus t minus t not power 0.6 into phi infinity t not what does the t minus t not indicates this is the age of concrete at the time of loading this is the age of concrete at the time of testing so what is the difference between these two values the difference difference represents time for which the load is on the concrete concrete meda enta sepa load ala exit ayyo ne any roju leni samsthalu undo manaki t minus t not anedi isthund anamata antena and whereas phi alpha is nothing but creep coefficient ultimate creep coefficient okay ultimate creep coefficient so ultimate creep coefficient is again given by this simple equation 2.35 k1 into k2 into k3 into k4 into k5 into k6 these are the six coefficients that take into account various parameters to give an accurate result so this ultimate creep coefficient nunchi man what we are actually doing is this ultimate creep coefficient is the creep coefficient related to the ultimate creep but we are actually uh, finding out the creep coefficient for time t instead of time infinity okay so let us see the constants k1 takes into account the curing and age of loading so k1 is given by these two simple equations based on the age of loading you have to take care of these equations so for moist curing and age of loading greater than 7 days this is the equation and t not is the time of concrete at the time i mean age of concrete uh, at the time of uh, loading so this age of loading will be equals to t not if t not is less than 7 7 day i mean sorry greater than 7 days you have to use this equation if it is 1 to 3 days or less than that i mean greater than 1 to 3 days of course for one day it is going to be cured i mean it is going to be in the mold after that one day after 24 hours it is going to be cured either by moist curing or steam curing right isn't it so one two three days uh, we are going to use this equation of course up to seven you can do that and k2 accounts for the relative humidity okay which is represented with h and h should be greater than or equals to 40 percent and k3 takes into account the volume to surface area and the surface area v by s 
So find out V by S first. And if V by S value is greater than 95, sorry, less than 95 and greater than 37.5 and T is less than or equals to one year, this is the equation. If V by S is in between 95 to 37.5 mm, similar to above, but time age of concrete at the time of testing is greater than one year. Ante one year tarvata nain test create tells kolan kunte. If the time at the time of low testing is greater than one year, then this is the equation. And in any case, if V by S is greater than or equals to 95, irrespective of time, uh, age of concrete at the time of testing, you can use this equation here. And K4 is taking the slump into account, that is workability of concrete. And K5 takes into account the aggregate that is present in the concrete, the amount of uh, aggregate. And uh, K6 takes into account uh, the air content in the concrete. Okay, so this is how the creep coefficient is calculated. And once you know the creep coefficient, uh, ultimate creep coefficient, you will get the creep coefficient for time t. And from this t, you can actually find out what is the creep coefficient. So you can actually find out what is C, specific creep. And from that, you can find out the creep at the time of t. So this is how you find out the creep of the creep.